Lots to be excited about if you're a Vikings fan. The offensive potential of this team, the return of Daniil Hunter, the addition of Zadarius Smith, better coaching. You're going to get that baseline. Last year, the 2021 Vikings, they went 8-9. and nine. With better coaching, they go at least 10-7. and seven. You're switching from a 4-3 base to a 3-4, which on the pass rushing front, that's great. Against the run, however, I am very concerned. Last year, the Vikings had the seventh worst defense against the run, and that was in a 4-3 base. Now you switch into a 3-4, which requires some gangsters up front on the defensive line because you got to remember, offensive linemen, typically, there are some exceptions to the rule, like the Minnesota Vikings, who has Garrett Bradbury as their starting center, but I digress. Typically, Offensive linemen are the strongest dudes on the team, country strong. They stick out their hand, and if those paws hit your chest, you're stuck. There's nothing you can do about it. Now, go to a 3-4 base. I would estimate, anecdotally speaking, about every other snap, a defensive lineman. You're going up against two offensive linemen on that particular snap. Starting the game, everyone's got all the stamina and energy and strength in the world. But over the course of a four-quarter game, as you're getting beat the fuck up, can you maintain that same energy towards the end of the game? Dalvin Tomlinson, I'm not worried about him. He was a 3-4 nose tackle with the Giants before he joined the Vikings. After that, it gets murky. Harrison Phillips has 11 total starts in his four-year career, and eight of those starts came last year. This is the first time he's in a full-time starting role. After that, you've got Jalen Twyman as someone who doesn't know shit about shit. I'm rooting for the guy. I'm glad the Vikings drafted him last year, but I just feel like the way he's built his skill set, I feel like he holds more value as a 4-3 defensive tackle. Asking him to hang on as a 3-4 defensive lineman this early in his career, I feel like maybe a bit much for him. After that, you've got Armand Watts, who I've been... I've always been intrigued by Armand Watts. Maybe he can be the guy that steps up because they are 100% committed to Harrison Phillips after Dalvin Tomlinson, of course. You've got Asezi Odomewo, the rookie out of Minnesota, who I feel like is better suited as an outside linebacker standing up. You need more. You don't have enough on the defensive line if you're the Minnesota Vikings, which is why I believe you need to go after guys like Linval Joseph and Ndamukong Sue, who tweeted out clearly he still wants to play, that, hey, playing for the Raiders, that would be interesting. And make no mistake about it, Sue is nowhere close to the player that he was in Detroit in his prime, which at that point, that dude could really take over games. But for the Vikings as it stands right now and – I can't even believe I'm using this philosophy right now, but Rick Spielman, quantity over quality, you need that right now because all the quality is gone. It's not like you can sign some superstar defensive tackle off the street this point in the offseason. You need bodies in training camp that can battle it out just to make sure you've covered all your tracks because if I'm an opposing offense, I am going to attack this defense offsetting the pass rush with smash mouth football. Run the ball, pound the rock until you can stop it to set up the pass. I think you need Ndamukong Sue, Linval Joseph, sign as many players as you can because as it stands right now, of all the things to be excited about, the offensive potential, Justin Jefferson, Kirk Cousins, this could be his career year, the pass rush of Daniil Hunter and Zadarius Smith, the secondary Lewis seen as a rookie, lots to be excited about. If there's one thing besides Garrett Bradbury to freak out about, it's the run defense, it's the defensive line for the Vikings, even though, regardless of that, they should go at least 11-6. and six. Your thoughts in the comments section below. We're back at it tomorrow. We'll see you then.